Hello from the 11th inning stretch. My name is Paul Epi, and along with my good friend. I'm back, Alex Schneider. Good to see you back once again. Um, this is the uh, series wrap-up for the Diamondbacks and the series preview for the Cubs. The Cubs are rolling into town once again, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. Uh, but first things first, the wrap-up for the, the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, so far, Alex, what I'm seeing, um, well, today's game, it's still going on, but it it looks like it's one of those games that you seem to throw throw out the tape, forget about it, and, and move on. Uh, but it was really good to see Mike Leake finally consistently pitch uh, how how we paid him to pitch. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> I can agree to that. Um, now that he's pitching well, for some odd reason, we're losing games. I know uh, not last night, but the night before, that game was crazy wild with the scoring. Uh, today, as right before we started, it was five nothing. Um, it's five to one right now. Yeah, <laughs> I, so believe, it, I, it's, it's, I believe it is. Say so it's just been a lot of weird scoring. Um, now, if we could figure out, you know, league pitching and then offense playing and defense needs to get a lot better. The defense behind Leak was pretty good on Saturday, um, so that wasn't a huge issue. But um, as we've been saying all season, it's just a matter of putting everything together at once. You need offense defense and pitching to come together and one or two of those have been have been on for the Cardinals uh, but not all three at once and that's why they're only what three games four games above 500 yeah um, it's something crazy like that so anyway um, on to more important news that the Cubs come rolling into town once again um, and the starting pitchers for the, uh, for the Cardinals will be Adam Wainwright Michael Waka and Carlos Martinez the starting pitchers for the Cubs are John Lackey, Jason Hamill, and it's suspected some places have it listed, other places don't, but it's suspected going to be Jake Arrieta on Wednesday. He made his start on Friday night, and five days from Friday is on Wednesday, so you have to think it'll be Arrieta, yeah. on, unfortunately. Um, but injuries-wise for the Cardinals, nothing to report. Uh, same thing uh, from the last preview, Tejada, or sorry, not Tejada, Peralta. Uh, is on is on rehab and Fam is down at AAA. So same same old same old. Yep. The only real big one for the Cubs is Kyle Schwarber still hurt, but he's supposed to be out for the year. So I mean they're just I mean they're rolling without him anyway. Um, yeah, I mean that's about it. Um, who's hot for the Cardinals? Um, he's not going to pitch in this series, but Mike Leake, uh, like I said, we've been paying him <clears throat> good money and finally producing. Uh, he's won his last three starts and he pitched a hell. One hell of a gem versus the uh, D-backs on Saturday. So it's good to see him putting it together and uh, getting his season rolling. Uh, who's hot for the Cubs? Uh, like I said, I'm not much of a stats guy, really. I like to just watch it. But Javier Baez right now is, I mean, any time that they're, they've been winning, Javier Baez has had a, uh, some kind of role in that. Is it either sort of walk off, he hit on Mother's Day, or just playing solid defense, or just hitting like he does. So, yeah, Javier Baez. Although I feel like, to a certain extent, you could pluck out anybody from that Cubs lineup. Uh, yeah, yeah, and say they're hot because all, all they do is score runs. Exactly, uh, and when so. you'll notice with my who's not hot player, you'll notice that I'm kind of picking at straws for trying to find somebody. So when you're 15 games or whatever above 500, you tend to do that. But anyway, uh, who's not hot for the Cardinals? Um, when in doubt this season, we're going to pick Colton Wong, and that's sort of who it is right now. Um, he didn't play uh, Friday or Saturday, and Saturday Jed Jerko hit a home run, and he's been playing pretty well. Um, so, yeah, Colton Wong, uh, again, sort of doing what he's been doing the whole season, which is not all that much. Uh, we'll see what if he plays or how much he plays against the Cubs. Who's not for the Cubs is their catcher, uh, Ross. Um, he's, I mean, he's like, what, 40-something years old? He's, uh, 40, 50, he's, 60, something like that, yeah. yeah he's, I mean, he's never really hit forever in his career. He's more he's more of a defensive-minded catcher. He's still playing really well. Um, but, yeah, like I said, picking at straws here for the Cubs lineup. They're all scorching hot. Um, one, th one injury that I just got – that I just remembered was uh, Jason Hayward for the Cubs. He's, uh, I think he oh, went on the DL. I'm he, I know oh, he got okay. injured tracking down a ball this past week. I'm not sure uh, on his status, but I think he may have been placed on the DL. Um, okay. But at the very least, he did he did come out of a game and he was injured. So I doubt he'll play against the Cardinals. 
Um, but again, I'm I'm not I, I haven't actually looked into it that much. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go with the Cubs two to one series victory. Um, I think the Cardinals will, will win with Wayne on the mound. Uh, Arietta, I think, is just a guaranteed loss. To be honest with you. Um, and then that Tuesday game, it's a toss up, but toss ups have been going the Cubs way so far this season. So I'm going to go two to one Cubs. I'm actually going to go two to one Cardinals. I'm feeling something right. a little bit different. I'm fe- I'm feeling a little bit different. I feel like this series can turn the tide and Cardinals can go on a pretty good stretch here. Not, you know, winning streaks or something like that. I'm thinking more they win more games than they lose. So I'm thinking they're going to get stuff on track this series. They're going to prove to everyone that they're just not going to sit around and watch the Cubs go by. Um, so I'm going to go a two to one series win for the Cardinals. Um, I have nothing left for the, the preview wrap up. Um, both teams are playing, I mean, defensively wise, the Cardinals are not playing very well, but as of late, Cardinals are playing pretty well. Um, so it's going to be a fun series to watch. Me and Paul are actually going to the game Wednesday. Thank you to Paul for the ticket. Um, Dude, tickets, so, man, but don't thank me. Um, so if you guys watch the show and you guys see us out there, you know, don't be afraid to shout out, hey. Um, but other than that, I got nothing left. This has been a leather getting stretch with the preview for the Cubs. My name's Alex Schneider. And I'm Paul Uppy. You guys have a great day.